What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the Kono Ichi, up to level 33 now. And here's another area that we seldom do. Um, I like this area a fair amount. It's not a crazily good area, but it's a pretty decent area. Uh, and it's all the contaminated males and females area here. It's a really fun area. Um, there's a decent amount of clusters, and there's a decent amount of... Um, area that this covers it's it's a decently sized area which is kind of nice so there's plenty to clean up so i thought this would be a good place to start this episode with and uh you know kill there's a decent amount of kills that we got to get here at the very beginning so i thought it would be a decent place to kick this episode off and then we'll go from there so you might be seeing this combination of the red Sox hat and the hockey anniversary t-shirt because i'm going to be recording a decent chunk of videos today um and so you may see this i got a little bit oh these are like friendlies interesting didn't actually know that there were friendlies throughout here okay i guess we'll just do this rotation up here i was gonna take it like the wide angle around but i guess there is no wide angle uh but yeah i've gotten behind with my recordings and so a lot of the recordings have been all in one day and not that I can't do that or, like, handle that, but it does kind of restrict. Um, if I can record in advance, it, it makes it just easier on me in general because I don't have to, like, the video you guys saw yesterday. I won't have to record a video at 3 a.m. and upload it and render it and do all that different stuff because I didn't wake up at 8 this morning, so I had to get that all done before I, um, before I went to bed. So, yeah, pre-recording videos is very important to me. And so, obviously, doing my best to pre-record a video. Now, my goal is still to record, like, a video a day, but I just want to have pre-recorded stuff just in case. Just in case. And obviously, every Wednesday, I have to do a recording because we're going to be continuing the, uh... We're going to be continuing the, uh patch notes every week so do want to provide that and i thank everybody for the feedback you guys gave me on that patch note video uh some stuff i'll be including is links and if necessary or will uh help with where are you go okay um if it'll help with the overall quality of the video i'll try to include some in-game footage um like for some stuff it just doesn't matter you don't need any in-game footage but for some stuff, it does help a lot to have in-game footage, and so I will try to show that the best that I can, if, if there's anything I need to do. But back to Arkonoichi. This will be the final episode before I actually nail down some skills. Um, after this episode, I will progress a little bit more, and then I will probably work on some skills, so hopefully that's the case. Uh, today... It'll mostly be tomorrow that you'll see the same looking shirt uh, and hat combo that I'll probably do. But I am going to at least do like three or four videos today. Uh, and then I'll see what I can get done tomorrow. Uh, but I, but like with the skills and stuff, I do have to like kind of pre-plan that out. Uh, that's a little bit more of a time, time consuming thing. So I will, the next video will probably be full skills and... Uh, a little bit of combat, but mostly it'll just be going over the skills. I'll get to a place where we can farm, and then I'll just go over skills in there. Because I want to make... I, I want to have, like, some competitive skills, like, good skills, but I also want to make it my own and have some, like, more fun skills, which is kind of what I did on my Sork. Uh, that's just the overall plan. I'm not trying to, like, be a competitive pvp or with these characters. It's more about just having fun and having a rotation that makes me not, like, have to micro-micromanage. I mean, my sorceress is pretty microed. Like, uh, my rotation, that's down to kind of a science. But it's all in my head. It's not super, like, um... It's not super, like, oh, this button combo to this combo to this combo to this combo into a new combo, into this combo, back to this combo. It's just, like, a rotation of, like, six combos and... That's just it. When the six combo runs out, it's time to start over again. It's, you know, simple stuff. Nothing too insanely complicated. 
I've watched some combos that are just absolutely <laughs> psychotic that I just couldn't do on like a regular bit. Like I could do them in like a PvP, I guess, but like over a regular course of like farming or stuff like that. Some of the combos people do through just regular farming is absolutely insane, and I just couldn't do it. To be honest with you, I would have. I might as well, we might as well kill some stuff as we go back. I went to the wrong spot. I followed where it wanted you to go initially. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, it's really not that I can't do them, it's that I don't really want to do these crazy combos, I guess. Because I would rather have fluid combos that I know I can, uh, I can complete every time, than have combos that, uh, I, you know, do perfectly parts of the time, but not all the time. So I'm going to grab these side quests, because these side quests here aren't really easy. They go right in line with what you're doing anyway. And so, perfectly good quests to just grab alongside. As you can see, they're just kill contaminates. Contaminates? Contaminates? Contaminates. Um, and when you do that, it helps you. You'll just complete this anyway. Um, we need to talk to the Apprentice Priest, but I'm going to complete this first. Because I want... I want the free gold. Okay, I'm stuck on a tree stump. I was looking up at the map to see what was coming up, and I was just running against that tree stump. But you can see, pretty easy. There's not... You don't have to kill a bunch of stuff. Um, about three to five of each thing. And, uh, yeah, there's a, plenty of clusters of them to make this fairly easy. Alright, so we already got the wizards done. I hate the poison, the slow poison they put on you. There we go. Gi There's one done already. There's another dwarf. Gets us four out of five. There's a witch that completes that part. This is probably, if you do come to this area, doing these... I know I don't always do the side quests anymore, but there are some side quests, especially like these, that are so ridiculously easy for the reward that it's like... You're just an idiot if you don't complete these. They're really easy. Okay, we gotta kill one more wizard. And there are those, all completed. I mean, it's that easy. It's such an easy um, side quest completion that I just... I can't even, like, mentally comprehend not doing them. They're so easy. Um, I gotta get back to... There it is right there. I knew I was going the right direction. I had to get back to this dude, because I don't know quite if we come back here. Uh, that might be it for this area. Um, hello, game? Can you chill? Give me the potions. I want the potions over... Uh, actually, give me this. Give me the fried fish, yeah. Alright, so sweet. Let's go over here, see what this is all about. Talk to the apprentice priest. And uh, I'll cut back in because it looks like we go to the main city now. So I'll cut back in when we have some more combat or action to get into. So I'll get, see you guys in just a second. All right. This is another area that I don't truly love, but we don't do it very often. So I'm going to do it here because this is the usually an area that I skip. And that is stuff to do with the uh, Bree Tree Ruins. Uh, not my favorite thing to do. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't necessarily love this, but... We don't do it very often, and uh, that's kind of been the general theme so far with this playthrough, is just doing stuff that I rarely show because I don't like it, or that we just don't do it very often. Um, I cut out harpies a lot, and I cut that out in here too, because I literally hate harpies. Um, I really love Karanda, like the, the, the world boss Karanda. I like that fight, I just hate the harpy fights. Those are just trash, in my opinion. I don't know, just opinion. I, I Like, I get why you like them. They're a lot different than any of the other enemies that you organically fight throughout playing the game. But I don't know, I just, I, I just can't. I can't get behind the stupid harpies. They drive me insane. And I had to fight them again. I had to kill 60 of them, and it drove me insane again. So clearly, clearly my love for harpies is just not magically going to appear out of nowhere one of these days. That's, that's where I've gotten with it. I do it every time, and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll like it more this time. And then it's just like, nope, 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 nope. I will say the range characters, um, like Wizard and Witch and Ranger and Archer, they're all a lot better at killing the... Uh, they make me want to 
not like i don't know they make me less sad when i do it with those characters because it's a little bit easier but the melee characters it's just like spam whatever your best up attack is because otherwise you're just getting destroyed can i destroy this guard tower i mean i'm not taking like any damage here so I'll literally just stand here Uh, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not- oh my gosh, I'm gonna get myself killed because I'm an idiot. Hold on, hold on. Everybody chill, let me get my health back. Okay, okay! Okay, they hit a little harder, a little harder than I thought. And I don't have, uh, nearest node. I don't know how far back this is gonna take me. Hit a little harder, I got myself screwed up because I hit- because when you hold LT and you hit over on the D-pad, because I was doing that attack, it messes up because it makes you pop up your that item menu, or the options menu, or whatever. Whatever you have set for that keybind, it pops up. And then I messed myself up because then I took like six hits trying to get... Because you have to hit B. Well, you either have to select something or you gotta hit B, and you definitely don't want to select anything because it's like Guild Wars stuff, and it's... Yeah, you just gotta hit B. But point is, is that... That screwed me up. A low key think we would have been okay. This low key just a perfect spawn. All right. I don't even care that I died. Slide down here and slaughter these guys. Actually worked out maybe better. I think it brought me closer to where I needed to get to than I was before. You die. Two more kills. There we go. And there we go. So I'll probably take this episode up until we kill the, uh, the bee tree boss. I don't even know what it's called. The bee tree boss, whatever. The, the, like, giant sentinel thing. That's what, uh, that's what I will take this episode up to. And then we'll call, we'll call it a day there. I might get knocked up. Okay, can you guys leave me alone? Half a sec, half a sec, half a sec. Oh, I did get it off. I didn't think I got off the accepting the quest. Sweet. So now we need to talk to Martha Kyan. I, at least I'm under the assumption that that's what we're doing now, is that I'm going to have to do that one boss fight. I have to do, I have to go like into the cave, and then we come out of the cave, and then we do the boss fight. I did clean up the inventory here a little bit. So that's nice. Uh, this is the gear right now on the character. We got 105, 65 going on here. We're missing a belt and a ring, so I don't really put too much stock into anything that I have on right now. Um, probably before next episode, I'll tighten the reins in and we'll uh, we'll get an actual setup going on this character. Remember, right now we're trying to find a secondary character to my Sork. Right now, the archer holds that down. I really do enjoy the archer, uh, so something's going to have to beat the archer. Right now, this is a strong contender. I like this, but obviously we have to see we have to see post-awakening kind of how the character plays for me. Um, and it's all about like my own personal preferences. Like Obviously, I can go onto the internet and watch videos and try to decipher what I like from that. But if I did that, Ranger would be my favorite character, and that's just not an accurate representation because... I like Ranger for the one outfit, but I really don't think Ranger is, like, my favorite character to ever grace the game. We were kind of hemmed in on Xbox, I guess, a little bit into finding our own characters from the starting five. Obviously, you could toy around and get different, uh, you know, once they came out, just you just had to level them. But if you know what I mean by we got kind of hemmed in, and I got kind of hemmed into picking... Uh, Sork, but I do love Sork. Nothing, nothing do I have fun with anything more than Sork, which is kind of crazy, but nothing in this game I have as much fun with as playing Sork, for being honest. I literally love Sork. What are we, we're trying to get ancient weapon cores that just kill different stuff and then hope it drops it. I don't really remember. I don't really remember this quest at all. I'm just gonna slaughter stuff and we'll go from there. I don't really know. I don't really know how to get the ancient weapon cores, but uh, yeah, I think as long as we just slaughter everything, we'll eventually get them. 
I think this is kind of a longer... You gotta kill a decent amount of stuff here because it's an RNG drop, and I think it's a pretty bad RNG drop, if I remember correctly. I, d I don't think that the RNG of it dropping is, like, significantly high or anything. I don't have one yet, so that should pretty much tell you all you need to know. Unless I'm doing this wrong. Should probably go to where it wants me to go. I think it wants me to go underground, right? It wants me to go underground to that one area. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So we need to talk to this dude. Or maybe we don't. Yeah, we did. Um... Hold on, I gotta talk to him again. There we go. I'll take the beer this time, why not? Okay, so now we go in here. I think. I think. I say this with with minimal with minimal confidence. I usually just do this area. I never quite remember what the heck I'm doing in this area, but We need to defeat the ancient weapon core, which there's five of them. I'm hoping... Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, we got one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there we go. I figured it out. Figured it out after way too long. Do I have a key for this? Nope. Hey, buddy. There's my third weapon core. Fourth, and here's fifth. There we go. Okay. So, we need to advance farther in here slaughter this stuff. I do have the bonus XP on, so I do want to... don't want to waste it completely. I really like the animation of that, like, uh, the petals coming out of her hands, like, when she runs. I really like that concept. Alright, so here we are here. Complete this quest. Grab our rewards. Uh, I think we're gonna get close to 40 here. Which, that's really nice. Grab that. Okay, so now... We need to find out more about the bee tree ruins. That's all... That's all we get. That's all the... Are you... Yeah, you're alive. Um... Yeah, I gotta be completely honest. I don't remember this at all, but that's alright. I don't have to remember it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, okay, the struggles are real. Uh, you literally have to do this every single time. How do I not remember this? Chat? Oh, yeah, we gotta examine closely. Skip the video, we've all seen that. that that's probably the most seen cutscene, because I don't think any way you slice or dice, you go through the game, I believe you get to this one every single time. I think it makes you come to the, the Bee Tree Ruins every single time. I don't think there's a single opportunity to skip that, which kind of sucks, but I literally don't think there's a way to skip that. All right, so I think we take this quest back to Martha, and then I believe it's boss time for one of the probably crappier bosses in the game. That might be something I do. I might do a tier list of areas and bosses and all of that different stuff. I'll probably do a personal preference one, and then I'll do one based off of different things like farming and, and stuff like that. But, um, just for regular old stuff, I'll probably do... Tier list would be fun. That might be a good, uh, might be a good thing to do. Something different for the channel. You know what, I just came up with that idea in my head right now, which is not like a new idea, but I came up with it in my head and I'm gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do tier lists. I don't know when I'm gonna do them, but we're gonna do tier lists. Do tier lists of like the base game. And I completely ran by those guys to turn the quests in. They're just not getting the quests. Sorry, bros. It's like 200k that I lost, whatever. All right, up to the ladder we go to Martha. We're going to come up just short of hitting level 40, but uh, before the next episode, when I advance us to a stable point to uh, uh, begin the next episode and start with all the the uh, skills that we want to have, should be, 
should be at a good point. I'm going to grab this quest just for shits and giggles because I missed it. And then if I come back to this area, I can always, you know, complete this crap. Okay. So, did I not finish this quest? I didn't fi Okay. I thought I finished the quest with her. I just don't... I need to pay more attention because I do that way too often where I'm like, Oh, yeah, I thought I clicked through A enough and then re-talked to her and saw that it was completed and I just don't. It's... It's becoming a bad habit. It's becoming a bad habit in this game. Of where I'll run away from the quest giver without actually getting the quest. Okay, Howling Voice. Move to the entrance of Caphras Cave. Okay, are we not doing the boss? I haven't fought a boss in forever on this character, so I'm... Are we just not going to get the boss fight? Kind of a little bit spooked. I'm going to kill a little bit here. Got to clean up a little bit of these side quests in case we come back. Just gonna kill what's along the side of the road as I run by. Kill you out, get you out. There's the spiders done. Ruin spider down. Ruin spider down. Uh, we need to kill cylinder rune trees. There's one right here. Take that out. And I wanna grab the last one while we're here. I don't, um, let's see here. Ah, there we go, right here. Small cylinder ruin tree, beautiful. There's just a random, are we going to a new area? All right, I'm gonna kill this spider here and then we'll keep going. I really was hoping to get the, there was another cylinder one here anyway, but I was hoping I could get, uh, Oh, what was I going to say? Get all of the spider carapaces that I needed. But it looks like we're going to come up one short. Really? One short? I got trolled. Really? Really, game? One short? You're going to cut? You're going to give me one short on the... Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not one. Uh, I guess maybe no bee tree... No bee tree boss? It's kind of different. And so now we just need to kill Possessed down in this cave. Can I just jump? I'm just gonna jump down here. Take like no fall damage. Come here, bud. Go. Slaughter these guys, grab the experience. Looks like we might actually get to 40 before the end of this episode. Because these dudes actually give some decent experience. They give about 2% a piece. Hello? Can I not kill this dude? Die! It's the invincible man. Holy my god. Can I kill- Hello? It's like they get like this invulnerability state when they're pounding- When they're like turning into the possessed. He's gotta get there and smack him first. Come and get it, buddy. Okay, let's clean up this guy. We need to kill black spirits. I don't like that you have to, like, sit here and let them turn into the possessed. Come here. Let me kill you before you turn. Thank you. Oh, oh didn't get to you in time. I would like this area. I'd actually like this area if you didn't have to wait for them to, like, become possessed. There we go. And there, that's completed. Let's see if I can get this off real quick before I get smacked by a random enemy. Boom. Okay, so now we need to learn more about Jordine's memory. Just right down here. Seal, chat, trace a memory. We're actually going to watch this one because. Even I have never been this deep before. Not even the bravest lads would ever dare and try to come here. 
Capris. He was the only one who liked this place. Jordan? Who is it? I am not Jordan. Jordan, I know you're in there. You are the Grand Chamberlain of Heidel. Nonsense. Zorendia has forsaken me. I and darkness became one to destroy this pathetic world. I will have my vengeance! You will regret the choice you have made! Insolent whelp! I will tear your soul apart and throw it to the eternal abyss! <laughs> by fear and horror every day and join me by my side <laughs> all right so we can go ahead and complete this quest uh, i think that's pretty much going to do it for the video guys though um not much else for this episode uh in the next one I'll probably be like level 43, 44. I'll probably maybe try to even get to like Manchu Forest or to the Catfishmen before we do the next episode so that I can have somewhere to show you guys the combos and all that different stuff. And maybe we'll just farm for that episode with our new skills and, and how we have it built out. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.